Well, praise the Lord, saints. Another opportunity to share the word of God with you. Uh, miss y'all. Excited the whole bit, but let's let's pray and get into the word of God and and get blessed Amen. and get blessed. Uh, Father, we just thank you. We love you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you for your love, your kindness, your tender mercy. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for knowing we could do nothing without you. But we could do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Thank you for your strength, your wisdom, your counsel. Father, I thank you for your word going out, not returning void, but accomplishing what you sent it to do. Thank you for the God kind of lifestyle. Thank you for the hearers that would hear the word tonight and be built up and refreshed. And Father, I give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. Everybody agree with that said? Amen. Amen. All right, turn your Bibles tonight to... Matthew 6, because we're going to continue our study, because we're going to build on this thing. And I believe that you get a hold of this, and you do it like God say do it, you're going to see manifestation. You got you to gotta see manifestation, because the word of God will not return void, but it will accomplish what it's been sent to do. Look at um, Matthew 6. And uh, let's do 6 and 31. Matthew 6, 31. Grab your Bibles. I'm going to be reading out an Amplified Bible. But if you got your Schofield, your King James, we all will end up in the same place. Yeah. All right. Look at um, 6 and 31. It says, therefore, do not worry. Be anxious, saying, what are we going to have to eat? What are we going to have to drink? Or what are we going to have to wear? For the Gentiles, the heathen, wish for and crave and diligently seek all these things. And your heavenly Father knows well that you need them. But seek, aim at, strive after, first of all, his kingdom, his righteousness, his way of doing and being right. And then all these things taken together will be given to you besides. And all these things taken together and be given to you besides. Now, what I want you to, what, what I want to just focus in on just for us, uh, hot second mm -hmm. is that who's saying this if you was looking in king james scofield it, it, it it's in red so we know jesus is talking mm -hmm. and jesus is pointing out what god knows right. oh or he's relating to us don't you worry about what you're gonna eat what you're gonna drink or what you're gonna put on for your heavenly father knoweth he's saying god knows mm -hmm that you have need of provisions. So he says, stop worrying. Yes. Okay, so that means I'm empowered to stop worrying. Mm -hmm. Well, if I don't worry, who gonna worry? Nobody gonna worry. Mm -hmm. But he's saying, your heavenly father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Now, when it comes to the kingdom of God, you must learn how to operate in faith. It won't make sense, but it'll make faith. All right? Because we found out without faith, you can't please God. Why? Because God wants so much for you. And God wants you to win. And God has predestined a life for you and I to live, which is called the blessed life. Turn your Bibles. Uh, to Matthew 6. Well, we're right here. Look, Matthew 6 and Matthew 16 and 24. Matthew 16 and 24. <clears throat> Look at Matthew 16, 24. And while you're turning or while you tabling, whatever you do, uh, look, what I'm trying, what I'm trying to get you to see. And I know that the Holy Ghost will bring revelation to you. But what I'm trying to get you to see is you making this thing harder than it is. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be uh, uh, entering into the kingdom of God, which is entering into a rest. Amen. Now, look at look at um, 24. Then said G then Jesus said to his disciples. If anyone desires to be my disciple, 
Let him deny himself, dis, dis, disregard, lose sight of, and forget himself in his own interest. Take up his cross and follow me, cleave steadfastly to me, conform me wholly to my example, and living, and if need be, and dying also. For whoever, whoever is bent on saving his temporal life, the, his comfort and security here shall lose it, eternal life. And whoever loses his life, his comfort and security here, for my sake, will find life everlasting. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his life, his blessed life in the kingdom of God? Or what would a man give in exchange for his blessed life in the kingdom of God? Now, now go to uh, what is the other one? Go to I just want you to see this and then we then we're gonna move on. But go to Proverbs twenty Proverbs ten and twenty two. Proverbs ten and 22 cuz we we there, there there's a there's a, there's a life that God has preordained for you Are you there okay look at um 22 let's read 22 together the blessing of the lord it makes truly rich and adds no sorrow with it, neither does toiling increase it. Now, the blessed life, the God-ordained life, when you start walking in that, no sorrow come with it. Now, now there's, there's, don't hear me saying, there's not a tax. There's a tax for sorrow. There's a tax for worry. There's a tax for fear. All those things attack you, but they have no, no legal right to hold you. Now, today when I was at home, I wrote a couple of notes, and I, and I hope these bless you like they bless me. And number one, I wrote, you can always do something about your situation. And, and I'm, we're going we gonna to get into it tonight. But I want you to understand, where you're at tonight, you can do something about your situation. Number two. You can do something for yourself. Other words, you're never out of the game. Number three, when you see those who have and those who have not, mm -hmm. other words, when you see those that have, and then you look over here and you see those that do not have, this is, this is what you're really looking at. You're looking at those who did and those who didn't. Okay. See, when you, when, you, when you see those that have and those that have not, you, two categories. When you're looking at those that have and those that don't have, mm -hmm. what you're really looking at is those who did the word and those who didn't do the word. In other words, when you do the when you do the word, you gonna have. When you don't do the word, you're not gonna have. Amen, amen. And so, so number and I got number four for you. This might bless you. Number four, because you can go back, you can go back and and look at the video or YouTube it. So don't don't get caught up. I gotta write everything down. Just you can go back later. YouTube it. Stop it. Pause it. Back it up all that. But but I want I want to go I want you to be able to see this that when you see folk that have, they did something to have. In other words, have then just even saved. You still have to operate in the parameters of the kingdom of God. The prearranged life that God has for you that he preordained for you and I to live in and you and I to walk in. Hallelujah. All right, look at um, this number four here. I got number four for you. 
Now, you got you got to elevate your thinking because you, you think I'm picking on poor people, but I'm not picking on poor people. Mm -hmm. Or you think I'm picking on losers. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking on losers. Mm -hmm. But if you was honest, you understand there are winners and there are losers. Mm -hmm. yes. There are haves and the have-nots. Yes, right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so you can learn something from anybody. Jesus would say like, observe the wind. Observe this. Watch the ants. You know, watch this. Watch that. Okay, you can, you can learn something. There's a lesson in everything. And so, watch losers. Or watch the have-nots. And see what they do. See, just watch them, observe them. Take notes. Why they don't have. Mm -hmm. And then, don't do that. <laughs> I know you say, yeah, I'm out here. No, 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 no. Watch them. Study them. And do the opposite. Mm -hmm. The haves and the have not. Yeah. And as simple as it may sound. It's, it's, it's a lesson in it that there's a reason why they don't have. They'll tell you all them, the man did this to me and, 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 and I got a bad deal and I got, no, 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 no. No, the, the, the word of God is not subject to the economy. It's not subject to the world system. The kingdom of God is a higher level. And when you operate in the kingdom of God, you're, 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 you're not subject to what's going on. Go to Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah. No, because you tell me, you just don't understand. This is, this, no, 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 no. You don't understand that, that you're a free man fighting off whatever you're up against. You don't understand you in control. If you win, it's your fault. If you lose, it's your fault. We're in the middle of something that we none of us experienced. But it didn't change the word of God. You wouldn't know it if you didn't leave your house. I mean, you walking in this world, you, you wouldn't know it. You're still eating, mm -hmm. you're still drinking, yeah. and you still got something to wear. Oh, yeah. Jeez, right. Why? Because your heavenly father mm -hmm. knows that you have need of him. Mm -hmm. You put the demand on the word, mm -hmm. God will bring the supply. Yes. Yeah. You, you say it's hard, it is. Mm -hmm. Look at um, Jeremiah 17 and 7. I'm going to read seven, 7 and 8. It says, Most blessed is the man who believes in. And we know blessed don't just mean, oh, you're just a nice person, empowered to prosper. Yes, you, you and I, when the word calls us blessed, mm -hmm. we got another gear mm -hmm. that we can operate in. Mm -hmm. Like we just read over there, the blessing of the Lord. And make it rich. Okay, you got an empowerment on you that'll make you rich. And don't just hear money, hear fulfillment. Hear abundance. Abundance of peace. Abundance of joy. Abundance of marriage. Just hear the highest level. See, here I can't be stopped. Can't be denied. Here's mine. Okay. I get worked up. Look, most blessed is the man who believes in, trusts in, and relies on the Lord, and whose hope and confidence is where? Confidence. The Lord is. Oh, my confidence ain't in me. My confidence is in the Lord. 
My empowerment ain't in me. My empowerment is in the Lord. I'm operating in a system that's designed for me to win. Now, if I don't, if I don't, if I don't get over in the gear, then I won't go nowhere, even though I can. Why do you think the devil always trying to talk you out of something? Because he knows if, like the little train when we was growing up, the little train, I believe I can, I believe I can, I can you know, you know, train. I believe I can, I believe I can, I believe I can, I train. Okay. If you, if you believe you could do it, you could do it. If you believe it's yours, it is. If you believe you can't be stopped, you can't. You have to forfeit it. In other words, you have to say, even though, even though God is telling you is your, you got, you got to almost call God a liar. When you say you don't believe the word, you're pretty much saying, God, you're lying to me. That won't work. That's what you're saying. Watch this. For the man that trusts, the blessed man that trusts in, relies on, uh, believes in the Lord, verse 8, for he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers that spreads out his root by the rivers, and it shall not, and it shall not see and fear when he comes, uh-oh, when he comes, but his leaf shall be green. It shall not be anxious and full of care in the year of drought, nor shall it cease yielding fruit. Look, it's saying, look, look, no matter what the season. Right. Hello. No matter, no matter what the season. No matter what's going on in the earth. Drought time. Heat time. It's saying he's still going to be flourishing. That, that's what he's saying. He's still going to, because his confidence Ain't in the world system. Oh, come on. No, his confidence is in the word of God. So even when the seasons change, even when it's drought, his confidence ain't in that. It ain't in that. His confidence is in the Lord. Now go to Psalm, because this, this, right, this right here sounds like Psalms 1-1. Let's go over to Psalm 1 1. Psalms 1 1. Psalms 1 1. No, the, 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 the drought don't matter. What we in right now don't matter. We still win. It's still mine. What God promised me. It's still mine. One and one of Psalms. It says, blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous, inevitable is the man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly, follows their advice, their plans and purposes, nor stands submissive and active in the path where sinners walk, nor sits down to relax and rest where the scornful and the mockers gather, but look, 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 but his delight and desires are in the law of the Lord. And on his law, the precepts, the instructions, the teachings of God, he basically meditates, ponders, study by day and by night. Now, this kind of stuff will make the devil mad. See, because you're supposed to. Base your life on ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, whatever, whatever, whatever they report. But I'm, but look, look, my delight is in the law, law of the Lord. See, what does God say about it? See, see you got, you got, see, if you, you believe in that's it. See, because they ain't adding in the blessing of the Lord to make it rich. 
They only they only going by what they got. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. It says it says he ain't walking with the scornful. He ain't spending his time getting advice mm -hmm. from sinners. Right. Right. But his delight. Mm -hmm. And in the law of the Lord shall he man. And, and see, to the carnal man, what I'm saying now is, is it sounds like to them, he's saying pie in the sky. He's saying, he's saying, uh, we shouldn't be concerned. He's saying, that ain't what I'm saying. I'm saying, I can't die. Okay. Yeah. You can't, if you, if you're born again, you can't die. Now my flesh can, but the real me that's inside this earth suit can't. I'm a, my, the flesh man on me is already dead. Paul said, treat him like a dead man. Drag him around like a dead man. Just use him. No, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a blessed life. Oh, I just love this stuff. There, there's, there, there's, there's a blessed life. Now, 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 this is, this is the problem. Go to, go to. Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Because you say, well, everybody can't be wrong. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. And the word of God could be right. Majority could be wrong. Majority could be wrong. And the word of God could be right. Just, let's just say... What if it is right? And you got all your chips going with the majority. What, just what if the what if the word of God is right? Because you'll look at me and say, ain't no way he really believe all this. This is all I got. Look at Matthew 7 and 13. It's something Jesus says here. Matthew 7 and 13. He says, look what he said. Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and spacious and broad is the way that leads away to destruction. He said, look, enter in the narrow gate. I'm letting it simmer in. He said, enter into the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and spacious and broad is the way that leads away to destruction. And many are those who are entering through it. So he said, look, whole lot of folk going through the wide way. But watch what he says about this narrow. Verse 14. But the gate is narrow, constricted by pressure. And the way is straightened and compressed that leads away to life. And few are those. So that ain't that that means the majority ain't gonna be on this. That's gonna be the folk that are saying and seeing. Because it's gonna be pressure. See, if he didn't talk about money, if he didn't talk about uh well, what do you want me to talk about? You know you got to live holy. Well, you want to tell me what you can't do? There's so much you can do. You can be a blessing. You can be a light. You can be soft. You can help somebody out of their bind if you got something to help them with. No, we're so used to seeing people in a condition and we're going to be praying for you. No, help them with the rent. Help them with the mortgage. Help them with the car note. Mm -hmm. right. Right. You can't help if you ain't got no finances. Right. Right. Nobody want to hear we praying for you. Right. All right, but praise the Lord. All right, but notice what he says. Narrow, tight, 
Go with me. This is some good stuff. Go with me to Joshua. Maybe not. Maybe not. Go with me. Go with me. Go. Let's go to Romans. Go to Romans. Go to Romans. Cause what I'm what I'm saying, I gotta I gotta uh, back up a minute and try to get you to see this. Because what I'm saying, what I'm talking is spiritual stuff. And if your if your mind ain't renewed, you can't grasp it. Go to Romans eight. No, when you talk, you start talking about the kingdom of God and, and what God said he's going to do and all the promises of God. Look at, look at Romans 8 and 5. 8 and 5. It says, for those who are according to the flesh and are controlled by its unholy desires, set their minds on. And pursue those things would gratify the flesh. But those who are according to the spirit and are controlled by the spirit, the desire of the spirit, set their minds and seek those things which gratify the, the spirit. Now it says Holy Spirit, but he's talking about your spirit, your born again spirit. Verse 6. Now the mind of the flesh which is sense and reason without the spirit is death. Death that compromises all the miseries arising from sin, both here and hereafter. But the mind of the spirit is life, peace, both now and forever. That is because the mind of the flesh, with its carnal thoughts and purposes, is hostile to God. For it does not submit itself to God's laws. Indeed, it cannot. So then those who are living the life of the flesh catering to the appetite, impulses of the carnal natural, cannot please or satisfy God or be accepted to him. In other words, that he's talking to believers. But as a believer, you can, you can walk in your carnal thinking. And so I won't be able to grasp that there, there, there is a life that God preordained for me to walk in. I won't, I won't walk in it. I will live life like a man without God. So it would be hard for me, even though I'm saved. Because notice what he said. He said they set their mind. In other words, like you would do a thermostat. You just set it. Leave it and set it. And, and whatever, whatever life brings, they accept it. Go to James. See, they just, they, they just accept it as truth. James 1. Because watch this. No, see, you got you to gotta, you gotta ha have a mindset that I'm a winner. And settle for nothing less than winning. I'm a winner. And settle for nothing less than winning. If I'm if I'm supposed to win, I'm gonna win. If I gotta win by myself, me and God gotta cross the finish line. And that's the that's the attitude the, the attitude you gotta have. That me and God are the majority. If God be for me, who can be against me? Look at James one. And here's another law. If any of you is deficient in wisdom. Let them ask of the giving God. Say the giving God. Say it again. The giving God. Who gives to everyone liberally. Say he gives liberally. And ungrudgingly. Say it. <laughs> now look, we're serving the liberal, the, liberal, the liberal God, the giving God, that don't give grudgingly. Without reproaching or fault finding, and it would be given him. But here, here go to stimulation. Here go to stimulation, verse six. Only he must be in faith. Look up, look up, look up. Because you're wondering where you stop. Well, my, my question to you, 
When you asked them, was you in faith? Or was you begging them? Please, Jesus, please, 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 please. Was you begging them? It don't say nothing about begging them. It says ask them. <clears throat> but you got you to gotta ask how? In faith. You can't ask God for nothing worrying. For nothing in fear. It got to be in faith. You got to believe you receive when you pray. No, there's stipulations. That's a, the only thing when it comes to the Bible, the only, only problem people have when it comes to the word of God, that, 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 what do you mean? I got to have this stipulation. What do you mean? Well, when you go to your ATM, in your ATM, and you got money in that bank, there's still stipulations. You got to put your pin number in. You got to put your card in. You can't just stand out there with your hand on your hip and say, well, I got money in this bank. I want my money. No, you got to put your pin number in. You got to put your, your, your debit card in. Sometimes you got to show some ID. But when it comes to the things of God, no, I'm just going to keep begging God. Well, you ain't getting nothing. He's telling you how to come. He said, let them come in faith. Believing with the posture of that I deserve it. As a kingdom citizen, I have rights. Mm, you, you, you get stuck in a foreign country and you'll, you'll quick tell them, I'm a citizen of the United States of America. You can't do this to me. Well, there's things, there's things that you're entitled to as a citizen of the kingdom of God. What do you think? What do you think? God saves us and then just puts us in a corral and we waiting for the rapture? No, God, God expects us to show the world how good it is in the kingdom of God that pressed down. Shaking together, running over life. It ain't just for a few. It's for all the citizens of the kingdom. You ain't got, you ain't got a joggy for a spot in the kingdom. You already got a spot. Just like in natural. You don't, you don't come out of your mother's womb and then, then decide, well, I want my social security number to be. I want to, have to. No, you already got a social. Nobody else can't have your social security. You got one. Right, right, right. You already got a spot. Right. Mm. Well, in the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. God pre preordained for you to live the good life. Mm -hmm. The good life. And if you're struggling, it ain't the good life. And if you're suffering, it ain't the good life. He suffered for me. He suffered for me. He was hung up for me. He, he became poor so that I could become rich. All you got to do is believe it. You got, you got the will. Read it. Read what you're entitled to. And when the devil comes and tells you, oh, you're being, you just being, you just being greedy. You just being, no, 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 no. I'm a citizen of the kingdom of God. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to drink, or what I'm going to put on. My heavenly father knows I have needed these things. Mm-hmm. Now watch this. Only. What does only mean? Um, only. Ain't no other way. Only it must be in faith that he ask with no wavering, no hesitating, no doubting. For the one who wavers, hesitates, doubts. It's like the bellowing surge out of the sea that is blown hither and thither, tossed. By the other words, you just flip-flopping. Mm -hmm. Today you believe it, tomorrow you don't. 
Why is going easy? You love the Lord. When you get a little pressure, I don't know if this is for me. Okay, you. He said, "Don't let, don't let that fella." Verse seven. For truly, let not such a person imagine that he will receive anything. Look, no need, no need looking in the mailbox. No need looking for Amazon to drop off your package. It's been canceled. That's the word. That ain't, that ain't roach. That's the word. It said, don't even go, don't even go to the mailbox. Ain't gonna be nothing there. That's what it says right here. Truly, let not such a person, the flip-flop, the waver, the folk that can't make up their mind. He said, don't let, don't let, don't let such a person imagine. Don't even think it. So what, what do I have to do? I have to stabilize myself. I got to make up my mind. I got to be all in. Because it takes faith to please God. Notice it don't say it's impossible to please God without prayer, without faith. It said without faith. Because you got everything is faith. You got, you got fast in faith. You got praying in faith. You got to live in faith. You, do, you get saved by faith through grace. Okay, everything is faith. You trying to be good. He already said it ain't it ain't by your works that you saved. You ain't you ain't keeping yourself. You got the keeper. You got the sealer. You got the Holy Ghost that's doing it. You just cooperating with him. But he doing it. Sealed you to the day of redemption. Ain't no quit in you. You full of God. You can't be stopped. Okay, I talk about me. Yeah. I can't be stopped. Yeah. I can't forfeit it. Yeah. I got I gotta quit. I gotta give up caving and quit. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you go from season to season, mm -hmm. reaping in due season, reaping in due season, reaping in due season, if you don't give up caving and quit. Yeah. There's a there's a life preordained and prearranged yeah. for you and I to live the good life. But look at this. Watch this. Watch this. For let not such a person, verse 7, imagine that he will receive anything that he asks for the Lord. For being as he is, a man of two minds. A man of two minds. <laughs> so look, look. So I could be a man of two minds. Two mind men get nothing. Hesitate, dubious, irresolute. <laughs> he is unstable, unreliable, uncertain about everything he thinks, he feels, and he decides. Now, now look, look. This, this is good news. This is good. Look, I used to be like that. So I ain't messing with you. I used to, maybe I should get it. Maybe I should. Maybe I. <laughs> I was doing that. But I was going, look, I was going to church. Yeah, yeah. I was praying. I was fasting. Yeah, yeah. But I was double minded. Double -minded. Talk about it. See, I was, doing, I was doing a hokey pokey. Mm -hmm. One foot in, one foot out. Mm -hmm. One foot in, shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey spin around. That's what it's all about. Look. Because soon, soon pressure would come, I back down. Maybe it ain't for me. Yeah. But when I, when I found out that all I have to do is believe God and act on it. Act, act like it's already done because it is. Now, I can't, I can't tell you how it works. Like I can't like wire it for you and tell you how it work. Because the Bible says, go, go to go to um Mark 4. Go to Mark 4. No, I, I can't I can't tell you. Like just sit down. Because some people are, well, I just if I if you could just explain it to me, then I could do it. If you could just I can't. 
Watch, watch Mark. Watch Mark 4 and 26. Mark 4 and 26. It says, and he said, verse 26 of 4, he said, the kingdom of God is like a man who scatters seed upon the ground and then continues sleeping, rising night and day while the seed sprouts and grows and increases. He knows not how. Right. See, I don't, I don't know how. Right. You don't know and apparently we don't have to know how. But we use a whole lot of things we don't know how it work. We just use it. Okay, here he's saying you go to bed night and day, throw that, throw that seed out, and then go on about your business. Don't know how it work. I don't have to know how it work as long as it work. You'll look up one day and you got harvest. So, so stop trying to figure out how am I going to tithe if I ain't making it on the hundred? You know not how. That's the kingdom of God. Can't figure it out with your natural mind. The carnal mind gets stuck in trying to figure out the things of God. They give you a shut off notice and God said don't worry about it. You know, we train to worry. He said, no, shut it down. Lord, I thank you. My needs are met. Good night. Go to sleep. And then you'll find money that you've been banking in the kingdom. No, you got another account. Okay. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got another, you got another account. Go to Matthew six. You got, look, if you've been giving, you've been sowing in the kingdom, you got another banking account. That's not subject to the economy. Watch what Jesus says in Matthew six and 19. Do not gather and heap up and store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth, rust, worm, consume and destroy, and where thieves break through and steal. Okay. But gather and heap up and store for yourself treasures where? In the heavens. Where neither moth, nor rust, nor worm, consume and destroy, and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. See, it don't matter what's going on now. Yeah, I got, I got a few dollars here and there. In the earth rim, I got stocks, bonds in the earth rim. I got certain things in the earth rim, but that ain't where my heart is. No, if you walk in the floor, your heart in it. He said, when you bank in the kingdom, can't nothing mess with it. No, you can withdraw when you want. You can get favor when you want. Come on, just think a natural way. They got dividends. They got all kinds of stuff. Look, when you start talking about the kingdom of God, he's telling us, don't gather up and put it in the earth. Bank in the kingdom. Nobody can mess that up for you. Hallelujah. No, look, nobody can mess that up for you. And, and, and somebody out there saying, oh, I got a, I got a, yeah, you got another bank account. You've been sowing. You've been giving. Yeah. Tell God I need a withdrawal. Yeah. 
J-E-S-U-S. -S. That's the PIN number. <laughs> That's the PIN number. You got, you got a right. You got a right. Well, I'm just, I'm just glad the government gave us that stimulus. I'm just so glad they, they, they had to. What are you going to eat? What are you going to drink? And what are you going to put on? Believe it, you ain't feel no pressure. I know you ain't. I know you ain't. Because we serve the same God. I ain't naked I came in. See where your heart at. The just shall live by faith. See, proof is in the pudding. If you were shouting before, you should be shouting now. You will run around the church, you should be running around your house. Nothing changed. Nothing. Nothing. Let's go, let's 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 go let's go let's go a little farther. Look at Ephesians two. Ephesians two. Now I believe this. Now now everybody ain't gonna believe you, and every, everybody not not everybody's going. Nope. Not and I found that out. Not everybody's going. I stop I stop trying to convince people. I preach the word. I'm enjoying the word. I'm doing the word. But I. If, if, if their mind is set that, that what if God don't and what, you can't, you can't convince, if the Holy Spirit can't convince them, you can't. What I do is stop hearing, stop listening to all the crying. You remember when the guy came into the Godfather in the Godfather movie and uh, they won't give me the part. They won't give me the part. They, and the Godfather came around the desk and said, be a man. <laughs> be a man. What do you mean they won't give you the part? What are you, what are you waiting for somebody to give you something? You're supposed to take it by force. Kingdom suffer by, but the violent take it by force. It's mine. When you gonna get tired of being just blown around, pushed around, or you getting on the elevator and other people pushing your button, telling you what what kind of life you gonna live? You got all this God that's trying to put new wine in that new vessel, make you bigger on the inside. So that folk will, will take, take what God is doing. They, they'll look at you like they did David. Mm -hmm. And take you for granted. Mm -hmm. And take your kindness as a weakness. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that even though you don't look like a king, you are. Mm -hmm. You don't look like royalty, but you are. Mm -hmm. right. Right. They came looking and passed over David. All his brothers. No, nah, this ain't the one. This ain't the one. This ain't the one. And David out there uh, shoveling uh, uh, sheep done. <laughs> is, don't you got one more? Brought him in. This is the one. Mm -hmm. He didn't look like it. He didn't smell like royalty. Because it was hidden. Come on, yeah. Stop trying to prove to others what God is doing in the, inside of you. Jesus was all right until he came home. Stop trying to convince your home folk that God called you or that God is with you. Let them believe what they want to believe. Go ahead and win. Go ahead and win. Decide I'm going to win in every area of my life. 
I'm not going to take failure as an option. Mm. No, he already told us that that road, few on it, is a lonely road. Yes. Yeah. You don't see a whole lot of 7-Elevens. You don't see no Krausers. You don't see no stop and shop. You don't see no shopping centers. Mm. But it's full of anointing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's full of peace. Mm -hmm. It's full of joy. All provisions are, are taken care of on that road. Because watch this. Look at um, 2 and 10. And we read this last week, but no, it don't hurt to read it again. 2 and 10. For we are God's own handiwork. I'm God's own handiwork. You God's own handiwork. His workmanship. Recreated. Recreated in Christ Jesus. Born anew. That we may do those good works which God predestined. Planned beforehand for us. Taking paths, look, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Taking paths which he prepared ahead of time. That we should walk in them. Look, that's all you got to do. That we should walk in them. Living, look, when we walk in them, living, when we walk in them, living, what kind of life? The good life. He preordained a good life. That you and I should walk. Why are we on the bad life? You could be saved on the wrong life. Just settling. Just, just letting depression lay on you. Just letting everything just settle on you. Instead of saying, this ain't for me. You got to come better than that. <laughs> no, if, if, he, if he predestined and planned ahead of time. For me to have a good life. Look, it's a setup. It's a setup. Hallelujah. It's a setup. God predestined. And I'm over here with depression. I'm over here in fear. I'm over here in worry. And listen to the dummies that was in it trying to tell me how to do it. And they was in the same stuff. Oh, happy day. <laughs> when Jesus... Ooh. Yeah, man. Look, 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 look. My man of God preached that thing to me. Jack came out of that box, and Jack ain't been back in the box, and Jack, and I'm kicking the box down the street. My box is broke. Halabo shop, tadabo siki. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because when you find out you can't lose and it was all smoke screen and mirrors. Jimmy cracked corn and I don't care. Listen, predestined. Living. Now look, look, you're going to have haters. You're going to have, you gonna, when you start living the good life, you got folk, you got folk rooting against you. Saints. Save tongue talkers rooting against you. And 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 you it'll 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 stump you. And what I mean by that, it'll puzzle you. Why would somebody be rooting for me to fail? Why? Well he he different. Supposed to be. You supposed to be different. No, when they came in the synagogue looking for Jesus, and they said, they said, you supposed to be out there, your brother and all that. What Jesus say? I'm about my father's business. That's what we all should be. About our father's business. This ain't no YMCA. This ain't no social club. We born for purpose. He born us anew a for purpose. We so caught up in our civilian life that we ain't doing nothing for the kingdom. We supposed to be lights. We supposed to be like a disease. We supposed to be infecting people with Jesus. Yeah, the, de the devil. The devil should be trying to make us. Stay six feet from each other because cause somebody might catch what we got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You wonder why you ain't getting paid. You ain't working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
No, you, you worry about you. And the path that's outside of the good life, the, the preordained life that God preordained for you is a good life. See, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't even look around and see the hookups you got. You don't look around and see, see, see the press down shaking together with men giving right. to your bosom. Right. You so, you so caught up in trying to make your own. You trying to do something. You trying to do something without God. You trying to do something without God. To prove the just just I don't I, I don't need and you got believers like that. Go back to James. Go back to James. We got five minutes. Go back. Thank you. Thank you. Go back. Go back to James. Because I want I want to show you something. Go back to James. Thank you. <clears throat> James 1 and 5. Go back to James. Because you're wondering why it ain't working for you. And I'm, 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 I'm explaining to you why it ain't working for you. You got to make up your mind. See, am I going to walk in faith? Or am I going to walk by sight? See, am I going to believe God? Because watch what it says. Because I got a note here I want to read with. It says, verse 6, 1 and 6 of James. Only it must be in faith that he acts with no wavering, no hesitation, no doubt. For the one who waves, hesitates, doubt, is like the bellowing surge out of the sea that blow hither and thither and tossed by sea. For truly, let not such a person imagine that he will receive anything. Now, I got a note here that I always use. I use this a lot because the double-minded man is like a drifter. What is a drifter? A drifter is one who permits himself to be influenced and controlled by his circumstances outside of his mind. Oh, let, let, let somebody else do their thinking. They're deciding. They're choosing. He read leather, rather let others do his thinking. See, what, what, what did they say about it? What, what's their opinion about it? What, 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 what? Okay. Number three, he, this person, this drifter, they accept whatever life throws at them. See, it must be the will of God or God wouldn't let this come my way. No, there's, there's stuff that comes our way every day that ain't the will of God. So if you got poison ivy, you would say, well, if it wasn't, if it wasn't the will of God, I wouldn't have poison ivy. So why, why you try to get it off you if you believe it's the will of God? Well, there's certain things the enemy sends your way to try to deceive you. You're supposed to have peace. You're supposed to have joy. You're supposed to have abundant life. You're supposed to be resting. All that comes with it. That's under the, the, the halo of the kingdom. Jesus said it. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus said it. Come unto me. I'll give you rest. You've been looking for rest? Come on to Jesus. Mm, that's some good stuff. Yeah. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got to, you got to decide that you want to win. You got to, you got to set your mind on winning. I don't care where you at. I don't care what cards life dealt you. You could still get up. And it starts with a decision. I'm taking it all back. Every hour, every day. Every minute, every day. Every second, every day. All of it. I'm allergic to worry. I'm a word allergic to fear. I'm allergic to doubt and unbelief. I'm allergic to being broke. 
Okay, now I might have life and have it more abundantly. And I'm just settling on get by alley, on handout street. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I've, been, I've, been, I've been down and I've been up and up is nice. I've been crushed and I've been healed and healed is better. I've been confused and now I'm single minded and single minded is better. See, I got to make a decision. You got to make a decision. See, who's report? Are you going to believe? Look, Jesus said something very important. He said, you're going to have a poor with you always. But you know what I decided? I ain't going to be one. Now, they might be here all the time. Jesus said another thing. When the Son of Man come, will he find faith in the earth? So faith ain't going to be just automatic. Faith is a decision. No, no, no. People throw rocks at you. The stuff I teach... Well, he ain't really, he ain't really a real reverend talking like that. Well, Jesus wasn't either. Because I'm only teaching what Jesus said. I'm not teaching what your denomination said. I'm teaching what, what Jesus said. Because Jesus said, you'll know the truth. He didn't say you know your denomination root. He said you know the truth and the truth will make you free. The truth will make you free. The truth is what made me free. Not no denomination. Glory to God. I refuse to be religiousized ever again. What does the word of God say about it? Not what I think or you think. If he said I'm supposed to have rest, that don't just mean Weekend, <laughs> vacation, no, Paul and Silas, oh man, we're out there, look, Paul, Paul and Silas was in the jail singing songs, so that means that, that peace ain't conditional, why are you going to be in shackles in a jail singing songs? But, but at midnight, it said the jail started shaking. Yeah. Started shaking. Angel came in there, dropped the shackles off, and they walked out. All that, all that stuff is not just now. You getting bonus coverage? That one more thing. Look, all all that all the, all the scenarios that we read in the Bible, they wasn't just fairy tales. That was, that was to show you demonstration yeah. of the Holy Ghost in operation. Right. And that same demonstration right. will operate in our lives mm -hmm. today. today. You're never out of the game, man. Right. You're never out of the game. But you got to be willing to forsake mother, father, sister, brother, wife, mm -hmm. children, husbands mm -hmm. for the kingdom. And he said... You get a hundredfold now yeah. in this life. Houses, brothers. Just, 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 just. They'll catch up with you like Joseph's brothers caught up with him once he got to the palace. Mm. They'll catch up with you. Mm. Go ahead and do the word of God. They'll catch up with you. Go ahead and be about your father's business. They'll catch up with you. Mm. I love you. I hope you got something out of it tonight. It's time for us to do our tithes and offerings. It is now offering time. Woo! All right, grab hold of your tithes, your offering. Come before the Lord with our tithes and offerings uh, to make our confession of faith. Not only do you bring it, but you also make a confession of faith. And we put this uh, tithes and offering on the website for you to download it. So you could do it with us if you like. It says, Heavenly Father, we profess this day unto you that we have come into the inheritance which you have swore to give us. We're in the land which you provided for us in Jesus Christ, the kingdom of the almighty God. We were sinners serving Satan. He was our God. But we called upon the name of Jesus and you heard our cry and delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of your dear son. Jesus, as our Lord and high priest, 
We bring the first fruits of our income to you, that ye may worship the Lord our God with them. Father, we rejoice in all the good which you have given to us in our households. We have heard your voice and have done according to all that you have commanded us. Now, Father, as you look down from your holy habitation from heaven to bless us as you said in your word, we believe that we now receive those blessings according to your word. This is our confession of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Take time out. Fill it in. We got PayPal. We got Cash App. We also got U.S. Mail. You can send a money order or you can send a check, but don't send no cash. Amen. We love you. And, and we'll see y'all Sunday morning, 9 o'clock, a.m. sharp. Love y'all. God bless you and your family. Oh, man, we miss you. But God bless you. We keep on going as long as we got to. Amen. We'll see you next time on the Faith Channel. Hallelujah.